All right, I'm making too much video, but uh, I mean, really get the look at it. You're back in here, man. I mean, this is pretty cool. You know, you're 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 in the forest. I mean, that's for doggone sure. Um, so uh, this is this is getting cool at this point. I'm enjoying it. Uh, but you can just look around. I mean, there's no roads. We came down off of that ridge, which is another reason you're going to want a walking stick because I had to really be careful coming down, uh, especially with the wild boars tearing up the trail back there. But uh, this is uh, this is this is where you get the feel that like you know, wow, we're we're Lewis and Clark, <laughs> you know, venturing into unknown territory. Woohoo! I'm about 90% sure I think this is where we turned around on a previous hike get, to head back to Ross Prairie because uh, I'm pretty sure I had a picnic right here on this bench and uh, but I haven't gotten my exercise today so I'm going to keep on going but we just knocked out another portion of the Florida Trail uh, from this point on I won't be making much video unless I see uh, some wildlife or something um, I always like to tease California. Hey, California, look here, a fire break. <laughs> you know, maybe you should consider doing that, you know, so that your whole state doesn't burn down. But, uh, and you can see it, but I'm, 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 I'm about 99% certain that this is where I finished up that Ross Prairie video because I had a picnic on that bench. And that was the tree that I, that was the final tree that I got on the video. So there you go. We're, we're working on it. 1,400 miles eventually, people. We'll get it done eventually. Okay, I always prove myself a liar. <laughs> Not that we have, haven't hiked this before, but we're coming into a different look here. And uh, you know, we came out of the, those oak trees and all of that, and we're coming into a pine forest. You know, I always like the contrast uh, here in Florida. So, uh, you know, if you if you do get through all of the uh, wild boars and uh, that portion of the trail and have a picnic on that bench back there. You know, you're gonna come into this pine forest and uh, it's just a it's just a different look. Uh, very pretty, very nice, you know. And uh, it's always nice to walk on the pine needles, really soft on the knees. Um, so, uh, but I did wanna show you this contrast as we keep going. Now I am gonna have to turn around here soon. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, I won't do the mantra yet. I'll wait till I'm heading back. And uh, but uh, nice hike, man. Boy, I'm I'm glad I got out today. I needed to get my head back on straight. You know, I'm tired of tired of working on the divorce, tired of working on the bills. Uh, I mean, I, stupid stuff. You know, like I got a I got a water bill for over a hundred dollars. And my wife, uh, when I got home after she moved out, she left the sprinklers on. And so, you know, I was hearing something running and I'm like, what the hell? Is it sounds like somebody's sprinklers are on. I didn't have my, I don't remember cutting them on before I left to go to Virginia, you know. Why would she cut them on? So anyway, that's a hell of a lot of water when you run those things and you only run them, you know, when, when you're desperate to save your lawn. So, uh, you know, I couldn't believe it. And I walked out and they, there they were running. So what can you say? But uh, the, just a different look here. Um, Let's keep on going and we'll do the mantra here soon and turn around because it's going to get too late. I don't want to be hiking out here in the dark. I've done, been there and done that and uh, just assume not. I hate daylight savings time and if we can do away with that, maybe uh, let's vote in some politicians. That, that's their number one priority. Let's do away with daylight savings time and, and then uh, not spend $3 trillion. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, let's keep on going. So we're reaching a point where I got to turn around. But once again, a different look. Uh, you see how it's kind of opening up here. Um, very nice. Sometimes this is where you get to see the deer and uh, the wildlife. Uh, you know, once again, I'm glad they got the, the mark on the tree because, you know, you could venture off in that direction and think you're on the trail or wherever. But it's been well marked the whole way. Um, but you can see uh, this is pretty cool. I, uh, I wish I could have gotten an earlier start. Um, but you know, uh, I have my issues and uh, it's, it's tar tough for me to get out here and do all of this. And you know, normally I have my backpack on the back. Uh, I didn't bring it today. Uh, I am getting sprinkled on just a bit, but uh, look at this, isn't this beautiful? This is kind of a totally different look as you hike. Um, now, 
just a summary of the hike because uh, this might be the last video um, other than the mantra. Um, I think coming from the uh, um, Ross Prairie side of the trail is a bit of a better hike. Although this is fantastic right here. I mean, this is this is this is a, this is a dream hike once you get to this portion. But you, it took me a while to get here. Um, but coming from the, uh, the Ross Prairie side, the hike was great the whole way. Plus there was a few more ridges for you to hike up on. Um, you know, so uh, I, I do I recommend the hike from the Pruitt side? Sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, th I think you would enjoy it. Um, you know, I'm I'm always shocked that I'm the only person out here. <laughs> especially this time of the year i mean day after thanksgiving i mean i don't know about you but i'm working that turkey off my bones man i, drink, I ate a crap load yesterday and uh i was feeling pretty lethargic this morning so i'm glad that i i was able to motivate and get out here uh once again didn't burn a drop of gas to get here so uh we'll see if uh, how that battery holds up going back and uh that's why i bought that prius prime so we could strike out and do stuff like this so I know this is going to be a long video. All right. Sorry about that. But I mean, I always try to get the different looks. And uh, you're kind of seeing, this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm glad that I walked through. And, and of course, you know, I'm thinking all the spider webs are down. <laughs> but, uh, I remember one particular hike. I came out and uh, on the Florida Trail. And uh, you'd be surprised how fast them spiders can put up a spider web. And uh, man, I walked into this big spider on the way back and I and he wasn't there when I hiked out. I mean, he threw that thing up in what, an hour or two. I mean, you know, they can they can put a web up in a hurry. So who knows, maybe I'll get a get a banana spider in my face on the way home or way back to the car. There you go. All right, so we'll turn around here soon, but uh, very, very nice hike. Glad we got out today. Um, hope it doesn't get dark before I get back. So I'm not trying to scare people away from the Florida Trail, but I did see some bear tracks back there. So there are bear in the area for sure. Um, so, uh, you know, we, you do want to bring bear spray. Uh, you know, a handgun ain't going to do you no damn good against a bear. <laughs> Hopefully that bear spray will scare them off. And I don't even know if you can still buy it anymore. For sure, we've done this because I actually propped this bench up because it's busted. And uh, so we, we're going to turn around now and uh, I'll do the mantra because we've been here and this is just going to hike up onto a ridge and I got a long hike back and I don't want to, there you go. And see, there's that structure down there that we saw on the previous video. That's what I was looking for. Just wanted to make sure for sure, 100% for sure that we got the Florida trail and see how this goes up onto the ridge. And this is coming from Ross Perry. And that's what I was saying. And uh, this, I knocked this bench down the last time I was here. I guess somebody propped it back up again. So good for them. All right, so let's hit on back. We'll do the mantra. Freedom, oh, freedom. Good to live in the free Republican state of Florida where we have no vaccine mandates, no jab requirements, no mask requirements. And you are free to come and do as you please. If you want a job, there's lots of them down here because our economy is booming because we're a free state, baby. Go to a, If you're a Democrat, be sure and go to California. If you're a Democrat, be sure and go to New York, you know, because you want your lockdowns and you want your masks on. You know, you want to you want to fear, fear the virus, you know. Hey, by the way, a little news. Uh, Seems there's a new variant. Imagine that. A new variant coming out of South Africa or something like that. So, uh, you know, this, the, they're going to milk this COVID thing forever, you know. So if you want to, if you want to just sit in your house and, uh, you know, eat bonbons and be scared, you know, go right ahead, man. You know, I'm not, I'm out here doing what I want to do, you know, having turkey dinners and uh, just living my life. If I get sick and die, so be it, you know. You can't live your life in a cave, people. That's just my, my mantra. All right, that's uh, this long video. I won't make any more. Like I said, we're heading back. Beautiful hike today. Enjoyed it. I'm glad it didn't. You could see the uh, see the clouds. I thought for sure I was going to get wet, even though the weather forecast didn't call for rain. Maybe tomorrow. It's going to be a little cooler. Maybe tomorrow we'll get a bike ride in. I'm just trying to enjoy the Thanksgiving holidays until I, you know, because on Monday I got to get back into the divorce proceedings and that's going to take time, you know, st still inventorying what my wife 
uh, and I want to say stole, but took out of the house and, uh, and, and making that list. And because uh, I at some point I will have to engage an attorney and uh, see what they think of the whole her proposal for our, our, our separation or divorce, I guess I should say. And uh, boy, I tell you, I am seeing the benefits. I am seeing the benefits to having the old ball and chain out of the house. So you guys have a good one. Bye bye. I love teasing my wife. <laughs> I told her about that new variant in Africa and said, get your booster to your booster. But I just had to put a brief clip on. Believe it or not, remember I was talking about how fast them spiders can put up cobwebs? <laughs> I just, just walked into one. Dang on it. I swear. I, you know, it's, it's funny how I can predict things for myself. Of course, she's all upset. Her portfolio is way down and, uh, She's just got to hold on. She's got a lot of mine in stocks. Uh, everybody's portfolio took a big hit, uh, except for mine, because uh, I had a bet against the stock market. So I haven't checked it, but it probably did pretty good. All right, you guys have a good one. I've been warning you, man. Nobody listens to me. Told you that uh, the gas prices were going up. Oh, wait, that cybersecurity guy, you were right. I told you the stock market was going to crash. Oh, look, the cybersecurity guy was right. Told you the real estate market was going to crash. Well, we haven't seen that yet, but let's see how, let's see if I'm right. All right, if you follow my videos, <clears throat> this is going to have to be two videos. Okay, we, today we are here. I've got a leaf on the end of the stick there. We're at the Pruitt Trailhead, and we just hiked back towards the Ross Prairie Trailhead. And, of course, a previous hike, I came off of the Ross Prairie Trailhead and hiked toward Pruitt. I just couldn't hike it all the way through. Um, and then we've all already done all of this portion all the way over to the Shangri-La Trailhead. And then we've done all of this all the way over the 49th Trailhead. And then we've done all of this uh, to the Land Bridge Trailhead. And uh, of course, we've gone all, done all of this all the way up to the Santos Trailhead. So that's it for this chart. Now... The next section that we're going to do, well, I've already done from Pruitt back over here on the 480, I think it's 484, hiking back this way. Uh, we did a ways down that road before the rain got me, the, yeah, Highway 484. Uh, so we're in Dunladen, Florida, 15, 15430 Southwest Highway 484, Dunladen, Florida, 34432. Okay, so uh, here comes somebody with a car. Um, so today, you know, to finish off the day, I, I kind of turned around maybe a little bit too soon. But one of the advantages of having the um, the uh, Prius Prime is now we can kind of go exploring. Because I did want to show you what, what I'm planning maybe for tomorrow is that uh, bike trail. Uh, so that's going to be down 484 going this way. Uh, and uh, I want to I want to take this road and just see where it goes today because I've always been curious. Uh, you know, and that's the advantage of having a car getting 133 miles to the gallon because you can go exploring. And um, so I guess that'll be, and then that'll be it for the day. I uh, did want to show you the area here one last time. You got picnic tables. Now, I didn't see anything that said that dogs were allowed here. And people always want to know that. Um, I don't know. So, uh, you know, it could be, uh, yeah, and of course, uh, no swimming. <laughs> I don't know where you go swimming. Camping or alcoholic beverages uh, allowed in this area. So there you go. And not allowed to bring a beer and sit in the park here, which that doesn't make any sense to me. Well, who who cares, you know? All right. So um, that's it for the uh, the Pruitt uh, section of the Florida Trail. So uh, like I said, tomorrow maybe a, a bike ride and we'll get that because uh, they're building a tunnel and that's going to hook up with that Inverness bike trail that we've done some of it. Uh, I want to get back on that and we're going to get knock, knock that out here soon. So we got a lot of, lot of video coming. You know, I think uh, uh, the channel's going to get uh, get kind of active at this point. Now that the, the old bag of bones is out of the house, uh, this is kind of my hobby, you know, and uh, I got to get my exercise and, uh, you know, it, I got a question for you and, and maybe leave a comment below. Would you rather be here and have hiked, uh, I, th I don't know how long I hiked, probably about four hours, three or four hours. Um, and I'm not even that tired because it's just, I tell you, hiking through the forest, it's just rejuvenating. 
but would you rather be here or dining with uh, that Biden idiot in a billionaire's mansion because that's where he's at? And, uh, you know, another thing I thought about <laughs> is as Floridian, as a Floridian, you know, I, I, I would love for somebody to burn down her house here in Florida. <laughs> Just the just the hypocrisy of her buying a twenty five million dollar house in Florida. I mean, I, I you know, oh my God, the, the, you know, the the biggest Marxist socialist communist in the country is going to buy in the most capitalistic uh, free state a mansion so that she can come here and live because she destroyed California. You know, I mean, what is the can. Anyway, let's let's uh, travel down this road, and I'll probably get another clip to the video. Like I said, it's going to be two videos for sure. All right, let's get going. Now I can drive around in the car, and that's uh, that's the beauty. You know, I don't know what you used to do when I was a kid. I used to drive around uh, Lynchburg, Virginia, back when gas only cost a dime a gallon. You know, and uh, just explore all the country roads and and see what's around. You know, and, and you know, I wasn't into hiking. Well, I was into hiking back then, but not. Not like now, you know, where I'm striking out to, to actually do uh, trails and show people what's in the uh, Central Florida area here. Um, so, like I said, nothing here about, um, nothing here about dogs. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Uh, but like I said, in a previous video, I hiked down this road, and then we made a left on 484, and I'm going to attack it from the um, the Dunludden side. Uh, um, I, I think that's called Rainbow River, and we'll see. We'll probably drive down there today. I've got some daylight left. Might as well enjoy the rest of the day. Well, sometimes it pays off to be curious about things. So I came down the uh, the road from the Pruitt Trailhead, and uh, we've hiked this before, but from the other side. So this is the Hal Pata Tastanaki Preserve from this side. So this would be a, a hike that you could come in and do because uh, we did it from the other side and it was just mainly just hiking down uh, some sandy roads. Uh, it was a hot day. Uh, this time of the year, I imagine this would be very nice. Uh, so this is uh, this is the, the trail system here. So this this is the road. Well, here's 484. And so we came in right here and so and we did the we did the Pruitt, and so now I, I guess the star means that you're right here. Now here's 200. See how we you cross 200 on 484. Um, so this would be a fun day of hiking. We'll come back and attack this from this side, because uh, I, I know that there's supposed to be some some water in here somewhere, um, and uh, that would be cool. It says, welcome to the Southwest Florida Water Management District's conservation lands. So I think there is supposed to, because I never found the, uh, the last time I hiked this, I never found any lakes or ponds or anything. I just uh, hiked around and, and then I got, uh, I got scared because I thought I was lost. And, uh, but yeah, yeah, this is, this is another whole hike. Come back and do this. I mean, you know, because you're just kind of going down a road right here, but, uh, it was a fun day, and especially this time of the year. So um, that's why I'm glad that you know I came down the road and uh, and, and checked this out. You know, I because I, I would love to attack this again. I always wanted to come back to Halpata, and I'm not going to try to pronounce the second the Halpata Preserve here, because um, it was a, it was kind of a miserable hike that day, and and it was it was a sandy hike, and uh, it was hot. Um, but I, you know, I just found it and I thought, well, let's just check it out. And of course, it looks like, um, please sign here. Of course, no book. <laughs> Due to COVID-19, the district is suspending use of log books. There you go. Even here in Florida. Uh-oh, we got a dog. Hopefully he won't attack me. He's, uh, he's, he's staring at me. All right, so, um, so this is it. So you come down this road and... So now we've got another whole day of hiking. So look at this, man. We've got at least five or six videos coming up that's going to be quite uh, quite extravagant. Um, I'd be curious to, well, I might ride down here and just see where this dead ends. I probably won't get it on the video and uh, and then just turn around and head on back. All right, you guys have a good one. So look at there, man. See? See what curiosity does for you? There you go. So this is where I plan to come today for a bike ride. This is called the Blue Run of Dunludden Park. 
and uh, we're gonna come back here with the bicycle maybe tomorrow maybe the next day and get a video uh, but let's go let's go go get the map so there is fishing here you can see he's just sitting on the bench uh, doing some fishing wouldn't mind bringing my pole so you know in the videos I always pay attention to uh, the Porta Johns now you can come here we'll probably we probably gonna get a bunch of videos because the pond trail I've never done that and uh, I can see the well there's a little sign of, uh, wow look at that I, I guess it goes on around that way that'd be fun oh we got some people here let me let me cut the video so this is what I wanted to get on the video um, by the way a lot of people kayak and uh, swim in the river here um, the sign back there I was reading it says don't fear the gators they don't hunt people as part of their food chain but uh, I've been told there have been uh, gators that uh, uh, if, if they're if they're in mating season, you know you probably want to stay away from them. But here you can look. Uh, so I'm right here, and we're going to be coming back. So this would be a fun hike. You could, we could do this pond trail all the way around. And then I guess it calls, they call it the Sand Hill Loop Trail. Um, and then of course this is a paved uh, bike trail that's going to go go this way to uh, the Wachaluki River Bridge at CR39 Trailhead. So um, we're gonna we're definitely coming back here and spend some time. Uh, and then here's CR484, like I said. And then of course down just down the road is some great dining. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, boy, you could just come here and just spend a, a few days and uh, you know get some biking in, get some hiking in, and then uh, go get some fine dining. So let's get. That's it for today. You guys, peace out. Stay free. And uh, if you're a Democrat, don't come to Florida.